Uh, Talia Rab from Student Supporting Israel. Good evening, everyone. My name is Talia Rab. I was here a mere two months ago speaking about this issue and my personal stories. I remember I, that. I was there also. Um, and I'm honored once again to be here as an echoing voice of our Jewish youth as we continue the battle against anti-Semitism on American college campuses. I'm here representing Students Supporting Israel, an international grassroots movement that stands as a clear and confident pro-Israel voice on college campuses. Since October 7th, anti-Semitism has surged by an alarming 360% and it's predominantly targeting American college students. On the morning of January 23rd, at the University of Central Florida in Orlando, the Students Supporting Israel chapter began setting up a vigil to honor the innocent Israeli lives lost on October 7th and throughout the ongoing war. Unknowingly to them at the time, a Palestinian student had been planning attack and had just walked by them. At 11.30 a.m., the Palestinian student threatened the lives of three Jewish students, expressing, I'm going to kill you. You won't be here anymore when I come back and shoot you. He explained that his threats were due to his resentment towards the visible Jewish support on campus. He was later tried, found guilty, and arrested for three counts of intimidation and credible threats. This incident is not isolated and is only one of a greater pattern. In November 2023, the SSI chapter at the University of Missouri was setting up Shabbat tables, one with empty chairs to symbolize the hostages and the other with educational books and pamphlets about Israel for other students to take and educate themselves. They were faced with hostility and aggression. A student was agitated by the visible support and he violently destroyed the display. It took weeks before the student was then punished. And regrettably, such, such incidents are deemed as the lucky ones, a phrase that we've heard so many times today. And this was because justice was served. Yet across campuses, many incidents go unpunished. Recently, the Hamas Sporting Student Justice for Palestine, SJP, at Columbia University held a rally spreading anti-Semitic tropes and blood libel against Israel. The rally advertised Israel as a skunk, reminiscent of Hitler's rodent comparison during the Holocaust, and featured billboards, which I brought the pictures with me today, with libel, such as, Israel steals Palestinian organs. Israel is the new Nazi Germany. And that's just two of the numerous that they held that day. Despite everything that our college students are enduring, our love and passion for Israel is only intensifying. For every violent protest, we organize two peaceful rallies. Every piece of blood libel is countered with double the artifacts of truth. While they chant for our death, we pray for the safe return of our brothers and sisters. The latest showcase of our commitment fell on the marking of 100 days of the hostages being in captivity and following the first birthday of youngest hostage, Kafir Bibas. On January 18th, a date with the meaning of high, at 10.07 a.m., symbolically comm commemorating the date of October 7th, SSI held a nationwide walkout, demanding the immediate release of the remaining hostages and honoring all those who were brutally murdered. Thousands of students across the country participated, and it has since been recognized as the most current mass U.S. demonstration in support for Israel since the November 14th rally at National Mall in Washington, D.C., where chapters all across the country were present at. Students supporting Israel is the glimpse of hope in this time of darkness and uncertainty, guiding Jewish students, breeding the leaders of tomorrow, and ensuring that Israel will always have a loud, and proud voice for future generations to come. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you. Uh, thank you to you and also Amazing. to students supporting uh, Israel, which I know does incredible work uh, in all the different ca campuses.